What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a hot minute since I have uploaded and created a YouTube video, vlog, whatnot, and it's been a crazy couple weeks and couple months in this video. I just want to share, you know, some life updates, what I've been going through, some things that I've been up to, some tips for you based on some things I've learned and some lessons I've experienced. So hopefully you don't have to learn the hard way like me. And just catching up, letting you know what I've been up to, what you can expect going forward, and just to share everything. So I don't even know the last time I uploaded a video, but life update. It has been hectic. I realized at the end of March that March completely, I, I don't know where March went, and it really was a big slap in the face when it comes to me, like I wasn't being slow, I wasn't being as present and as intentional with myself as I really want to and the things that I do. And I've been feeling a little burnt out. Um, <clears throat> this year, I just have very big goals and I'm on track for reaching them and I'm loving it. But I also realized I was constantly go, 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 hustle mode. And when I wasn't doing work, I was out with people and friends and just like, I feel like I love, like was going in so many different directions that I neglected to take care of myself a little bit. And I preach self-care, I preach taking time for yourself, which I was doing, but not enough of, and not enough time. And I feel like I kind of was doing it more of like, okay, check mark, like I did my meditation today, or I journaled, and it did help in that moment, but I didn't like fully take care of myself because I just literally had no time or space to. So it's been a wild, few weeks and I want this to be a reminder for you to slow the fuck down like slow down because it's not worth it it's not worth missing out on an entire month it's not worth feeling exhausted or overwhelmed and that's what not life isn't about and so this weekend I Evan is in Costa Rica this week so I literally had the entire house to myself like Gabby was in yoga and I was alone all weekend and it was so beautiful but so eye-opening because Saturday I literally sat there and I was like the heck do I do with myself and I really realized like holy crap like you haven't had like a full day's worth of being alone alone since at least August at least and I still had visitors during the summer so it felt really good. My soul needed it. I did whatever I wanted. I went to the pool. I read. I journaled. I danced. I played guitar. I just filled up my cup. And Sunday I did too, but I did some work because I'm in a course. I'm in a program right now just to deepen my learnings for, you know, what I do and for my clients. And within that course and program, it's brought a lot of baggage up. It's brought a lot of limiting beliefs up that still exist because we're human. And I've been working through it. I've I've just been working through it. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. Let you know what I'm up to, what I've been doing. Um, yeah, so what I've been up to. So I've gotten my Reiki 1 and Reiki 2 certification, which I absolutely love. I've been really diving just deep into my gifts. Diving deep into different modalities and being like, what, what do I like? What do I not like? And I absolutely love it. I love energy. We're all just energy. And it's been such an amazing tool. I've been doing these breathwork classes, which are, which are absolutely amazing because it's just another modality to heal and let go of energy. Like when we repress or don't deal with emotions or situations or we have trauma or baggage from the past, that energy gets stuck within our body and breathwork has allowed me to just release it. And like I shake, I cried once, like it was so fucking powerful. I love it and I highly recommend you you know you get into it there's so many different types of breathing there's like Wim Hof breathing the one I've been doing I think it's called clarity breathing I personally love doing it in person I have done it at home and at least once a month is something I'm trying to incorporate just other healing modalities to really let go of the shit that doesn't serve me um, I will be making a podcast episode soon I think about it and maybe bring my breathwork teacher in so she can speak and share more on it but I love it so much I might even want to get certified so just baby steps, literally baby steps. This overwhelm and kind of like burnt out, like go, 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 like made me realize I need to slow down on everything I'm learning because I love to learn so much, but it's, you know, I have to take time to implement and embody and just be. And so with that said, I actually ended up 
deciding not to do this training I planned on doing in July or August because I just I need time for myself. So there's that. Um, we or Evan, we too are under contract for a house. He's buying a house here in South Florida and we're under contract. We did an inspection. We did, we got the appraisal. So stay tuned for lots of like home improvement, decor, house tours that will be coming up soon. Um, I was just in Key West. Vlog will come up once my friend records her half of the vlog. I don't want to spoil it, but it was such a fucking amazing trip. It was a surprise. You're going to love that vlog. Um, yeah, and a few other things I've been doing. So if you, I've been, I like keep up on Instagram with all my stories on updates. So if you don't follow me yet, make sure you follow me here at Tatiana underscore Kuto. So you can you know, stay up to date on my day to day life. Um, but last week I actually, and there's a YouTube video on it, I'm deciding to get rid and remove my son tattoo. This is a decision that I had to think long and hard for because money, pain, but at the end of the day, this tattoo, I love it. I like it, but I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And it's a tattoo that it did mean a lot to me. I really love the sun. I want the sun still on my body, but it's not the vision I had. It's too big for me. I talk with my hands a lot. I'm constantly on camera and it's just not for me. So I'm getting that removed and I'm going to be recording my entire tattoo removal journey for YouTube. And it's probably gonna be like a year long journey. So y'all expect that in a year because I don't know, but you can follow me, you know, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see the updates there. Um, and <laughs> On top of laser, I'll then removing my tattoo, I got laser hair removal, which I love and you haven't looked into it yet. Absolutely amazing. I did my Brazilian and I did my underarms for one session. I'm going to go back, but it's not as painful as I thought. Thank the Lord, because I really thought it was going to be horrible. Um, I've been getting waxed for years, so there's that, but yeah. So a few other things that I have been doing and I've actually been telling my clients to do is I heard from a friend this intuition journal. So I have it on my notes, my phone. Got a new phone, by the way. iPhone 12 Pro. It's fucking massive, but we're working with it. Um, and an intuition journal. So every time I get like a hunch or an inkling or whatnot, and it serves me, I learned something from it. I was meant to be there at that moment. I write it down so I can build that muscle, build that connection with my intuition and really grow that. And on top of that, I've also written a lessons journal. This is something I implemented at the beginning of this year. So in my journal, I have a page. Every time I write like a lesson, like I put it in caps, header, lesson, stars. So when I'm like scrolling through, because the lessons we don't learn, we will repeat in different ways. And at the end of the year, I always do like a year long reflection and I want to learn my lessons so I don't have to relearn them the next year. Something I've absolutely been loving. Again, I created it on my phone as well because I learned some lessons the last few weeks that I want to share with you so you don't do it too. So first things first, do not bring your entire wallet out to the bar. Your girl got her wallet taken at the bar. I had a fanny pack, a fanny pack. So that means that somebody grabbed it right from my hip because I was dancing and drinking, not paying attention. So really painful lesson, but life is always happening for you guys like literally when you can shift your mindset and realize life's always happening for you magic happens if it wasn't for that I would not have noticed that my passport was expiring at the end of last month March 31st and if I didn't notice that I honestly would not have noticed it until I went to go out of country and use my passport so blessing in disguise another lesson I just learned recently was to make your passwords difficult and update them my Facebook got hacked. It was horrible. The hacker updated the email to their email and got the code generator to send to them. And it honestly was the biggest shit show. I was so upset and I like tried getting it back. And at one point I was like, okay, well I just have to, you know, give up. God's got it. If it's meant to come back, I'll come back. And it did. It fucking did. I got a hunch on Easter Sunday to go back on Facebook and try. It gave me all these steps to recover. So I added that into my intuition journal because I just got some random hunch. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. 
<sighs> lots of lessons. I have a lot of things coming up that I'm working through. I'm healing from my past, just who I am, limiting beliefs, because we're all human. And I just want to create this video to update you on my life, because I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, and I'm not sure when I will be posting again, just because of the craziness that's going on with work and moving soon, but I'm going to do my best to get back into it because I absolutely love making videos. I have not stopped making podcasts yet, so if you haven't listened to the podcast, go. You can listen on Spotify or iTunes at, I'll put it here, The Radiant Life Podcast. So amazing. I literally am obsessed with podcasting. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I've just been taking some time for myself. I'm going to continue taking time for myself. I'm getting a really big pull to go away somewhere for like three to four weeks, ideally out of country and like a jungle. I'm kind of thinking Costa Rica. So we will see about that. But I just want to share this because like, I don't want to just share like the good and the glamor and the bubbly and like I have all my life together. Granted, I'm not crying. You don't see it here. I do show on Instagram sometimes, but we're all human and we all go through ups and downs and ebbs and flows. And that's the beauty of life. Like, you can't have the lows. You can't have the highs without the lows, right? The highs will never feel as high if you don't feel the lows. And I'm not really feeling the low as bad right now. And I think it's just because of the amount of work and healing I've done throughout the years. Because you're going to go through lows, but it's all about how you handle it and how you come back out of it. And if you can come back out of it faster and better. And I kind of feel like that's where I'm at and I am getting better with it. But I'm in a place in my life where I'm feeling little stuck. I'm not feeling creative to show up as much on YouTube, to not create videos, to not create content for Instagram. And I'm learning to be okay with that. And I'm learning to just take care of my clients right now, take care of those that do need me, and also take care of myself. And I really just want this video to turn into like a reminder for you that life is always happening for you. And you don't want life to go by so fast and lately it's been freaking me out like how we're already in April of 2021 and last year 2020 went right by really fast and it was kind of like an eerie feeling for me and then January, January was great, I was great in January, February pretty good but March flew by so fast that I just blinked and it really made me realize like I need to slow down and I need to connect with myself so the intuition journal has been amazing. I've been, you know, the Reiki, the breath, breath work, just different modalities to change up my habits and routines have been amazing and other ways for me to work through and heal and connect with myself. So beautiful. And I highly recommend you guys taking some time to really learn how to connect with yourself so you can live a life full of intention and purpose and fulfillment. Um, but yeah, Florida has been amazing. So many big changes coming up in the next few months that I will keep you along the ride, but... Yeah, that's a little update on me. I hope you guys, I hope this serves you as a reminder to slow down and take some time for yourself. Maybe tonight you take a spa shower and you journal or maybe you go on a run and do some dancing and shaking after. You try a breathwork class or whatever it may be, just doing things for you because you cannot be the best version of yourself if you are serving from an empty tuck, if you are serving from an empty tank, an empty cup. And even though I know this, even though I preach it, sometimes I can get caught up in the craziness and chaos of life. And I just want this to be a reminder to slow down and be intentional and take care of you because burnout isn't fun. You don't deserve to be burnt out. You don't need burnout to be successful or to be happy. Um, and it's really important that you're taking care of yourself, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Because yeah, I was still working out. Cool, check for my body kind of like I was doing, I was work, I was doing my mindset stuff. You know, I read, I journal, I meditate. You could say check mark, but my spirit, like my soul, I wasn't taking care of. Like I was not taking enough time for me and for her and for me to work through some healings or me to work through what's coming up, some blocks and whatnot. And that's just the season that I'm in and I'm embracing it and I'm grateful for it and I'm welcoming it with open arms because I know during these seasons and these chapters, growth and beauty comes and I'll be so much stronger. And there's a little bit more that I will share once I kind of work through it so I can share with you everything, like from beginning to end. But it's been a journey. It's been a couple weeks. I think it's been a couple months. I think my last vlog was a St. Augustine vlog, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, which was in February. So yeah, so here I am 
Just wanted to keep you an update. Recipes will be coming, more videos will be coming, content will stay consistent on the podcast. That's one thing I really do have energy for right now. Not like I don't have to edit or anything, so it's awesome. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me here at Tatiana underscore Kuto on Instagram. I share a lot more on there. And don't forget to go listen to the podcast at the Radiant Life Podcast on iTunes and Spotify. And yeah. It's been an amazing ride. Oh yeah, I, I, I launched a group program, which has absolutely been going amazing. They're on week five right now, and they are so killing it. These women are learning more about themselves, becoming more aware, they're feeling more confident, and it's been so cool. So if you are interested in the next Embrace Your Radiance round, it will probably be at the end of April, April or September, so stay tuned. I will be announcing that on all of my other platforms. But yeah, that's where I'm at. A little life update, some tips lessons for you and I'm just going to continue to take some time for myself but thank you guys always for so much love if you have any questions for any reason comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe for future great videos that I promise are to come and fun vlogs that you don't want to miss out on and I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video bye